Welcome back. Uh, you're still watching Closing Trades right here on ED Now. Uh, and Amit Jiswani is still with us uh, talking about the markets. Uh, we are holding out okay for the benchmark indices uh, and for the broader markets. In fact, uh, it's a day of green, which is encouraging to see, given the fact that, you know, last many sessions we've been struggling with the broader market health. Uh, and so, Amit, uh, add your um, uh, thought process uh, to how you are advising clients to manage uh, the madness uh, in the mid caps uh, and the small caps particularly? So, you know, as the bull market matures, the portfolio quality takes, in the seek of returns, the portfolio quality takes a knock and everyone starts buying little, little junk in the portfolio. But by the end of the bull market, everyone is just holding junk. And this is what has happened, that now everyone's portfolio is filled with junk. The problem is that mid-cap stocks are now trading at valuation as if Mayawati is the Prime Minister, whereas high-quality companies are now trading at a valuation as if Modi has won 300 seats. So, you know, selling something which is down 20% and buying something which is up 20%, it, it becomes a problem psychologically. But we'd all forgotten modes, or the basics of investing in the last one, two years because the bull market was very strong. We, we ourselves were up a lot. Like everyone was up a lot last few years. So we, we, this year is going to be back to basics. You have to cut down your risk at, at pullbacks. We believe this month will be a strong pullback because the earnings would be good. This will give us an opportunity to cut down beta out of the portfolio. So the mid cap intermediate top is done and the hurt is so big that that it will not take days to get over. It will take weeks and months of consolidation and that's when your mid cap pain will get over. So we, we might see more risks as well, uh, like the dollar can shoot higher, you know, it's been consolidated. And this is a five year uh, breakout if it happens above 69. So that's one big risk and that will lead to a very larger uh, kind of fall. So this, this year we are on 21% cash. We're a little less on beta. So we've, we all have made large returns in the last five years. It's okay to make little less returns or, you know, just not be negative uh, this year. So we've been very defensive. We are dravid this year. We don't want to be Sehwag. We don't want to be Virat Kohli. We're not in competition with everyone, anyone. This year, we just want to be a little defensive. Yeah, that uh, everybody ends up buying junk. Which are the stocks which you regret buying or which are the stocks you thought you should have sold them earlier and now it's only hindsight you're realizing them? So, uh, like example, we bought the third best real estate company where we could have easily bought the market leader. So the third best real estate company was growing its bookings 70-80%. So, you know, in, in, in that growth uh, phase, we, we, I, I believe we, we could have done there better. Uh, steel cycle was very strong. We bought into steel companies. Uh, 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 well, we are not losing a lot of money there, but uh, we're not making as much as we were making there. So that is one regret that I have. The, the steel prices when we bought steel companies were 35,000, but today the steel prices are 52,000. Though the market doesn't want to pay for, sh markets currently wants to pay for longevity of growth. So th these are a few mistakes that we've done. We're down 8% this year. Uh, we were up 88% this year. So it's okay. It's not like a big deal, but... Uh, let's see what happens. But this, this year we want to be uh, defensive, to be honest. Analogy that you want to be Dravid this year and not the aggressive batsman in form of Sevag or Virat. But then there is an interesting comment which you made, uh, uh, you know, in, in the snippets which you have sent it to us, that if rupee moves below 69 uh, levels, then probably you would see mid-cap crumbling more. Why you say that, can you just explain and also what is your view on currency if you are, you know, taking currency as a barometer to see how equity would perform? See, actually there's been, so there are two things we look at uh, very closely and if you see historically there are only two things which are strongly correlated to markets. One is flow of capital which we see by a MSCI Emerging Market Index, that is an important parameter and the second thing is uh, uh, the the growth rate of the company is that and these are the two things which are basically have more than 80 percent correlation to your market returns uh, so these are the primary two factors that we look at msci emerging market index has given a breakdown so that that's below 45 levels uh, i'm not a very good technical analyst but but we we look at price action as well as a little so that is telling me that the flows in emerging markets would slow down going forward so that's one 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 thing and uh, uh, what was the question again? I'm sorry. On the rupee dollar, yes. So you might. So if you see that 69, the more rupee consolidates at 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 
a levels above 68, the higher the probability of that breakout happening. And if that breakout happens, it's a five year breakout. So uh, you will not see 69 for a long time. You'll see 73, 74. So, you know, till now you're falling on expectation of bad news. There is no big bad news till now. But then when the real bad news come, comes, you know, the markets will fall a lot and that's why the bottom will also be created. So the, the bottom will actually be created on super bad news. So this is just expectation of bad news, what, which is done. But for this month, we expect a little pullback because the earnings will be strong. And then after that, probably uh, the dollar we will see. Look at things, you know, like it is a dynamic world. Anything can happen. But for now, we think that uh, the dollar will break out about 69. Hopefully that 73, 74 level which you're, which you're talking about for rupee doesn't come uh, very fast because that would you know create havoc uh, when it comes to uh, you know current account deficit which we are facing. But last question before we thank you, uh, Amit, you we understand the fact that you are sitting on cash and you want to take it easy this year, but you are still somewhat invested in equity. Where exactly you are invested in? See, we are investing in consumer finance. See, the leader of this bull market is the NBFC space. So that's one space which that's the largest weight of our portfolio. That is 38%. So if we're not owning it from now, we own it for a very long time. So that's that 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 pack. Our our financials are doing well. Uh, we are we're looking at retail. That that is one space that will grow at a very high rate for the next many years. You will have a 7-Eleven kind of thing. Basically, we are at exactly the same place where US in retail terms was in 1980. So we believe a replica of something like that can happen. Uh, and yes, so those are the kind of bets we're looking at. There are some very high quality mid caps which have corrected. And we're looking at, I, we're not buying it now. We want, it's, we, we, we don't buy, we don't bottom fish. So it's okay if we pay up 20% or 10% higher. It's okay, completely okay. But then the trend should be like a long trend. We can, we want to hold it for two, three years. So we're not bottom fishing right now. But uh, we, we, like when the, cons see, the, the hurt is very big. So they will consolidate for some time. So you will get a lot of opportunities Absolutely to buy it, Amit, the uh, bottom. So we're waiting for these guys to consolidate for at least one month. I understand you need uh, you know a prolonged phase to hold rather than taking a short term call of being in equity and uh, that's Amit Jasani who is a bit cautious at this point of time sitting more on cash. Thank you Amit for joining us and sharing your view on market and some of the interesting uh, themes which you spoke about. Uh, let's take some